Okay, guys, next I'm going to show you the login plugin, which Divi has created so that you can have a login module, which will allow people to log into your site if you have pages set to private or if you have logins for things like shopping carts and other things like that on your website. Uh, I'm going to put them all in here, but then I'm going to have to log out to show you guys because once you're logged in, which I am, the login forms disappear. So I will put them in, log out, and show you guys what they look like. Uh, here's the login. It has a little lock on it. And we're just going to give it a name, log in here. Redirect to the current page. I'm going to say no because what that's going to do is just redirect them to the same page that they're on. But then again, I haven't tested it yet for their redirect. Uh, if it does redirect away from another page, I would say yes, just to keep them where they are. And this is a module where you're going to want to have it in like the sidebar or something. Uh, not so much on the page or if you do on the page with invisible background because like i said once they log in this is gone it disappears it's not on the page so let's go ahead and use background color yes um let's see i made the other one purple so we'll make this one blue Let's go for a lighter, nicer blue. This one will make purple. And we'll make sure that both of these have white text because it is going to be very hard to see dark text on either of these colors. And then for this one, we're going to add in and we are going to give it no background. background color no and for this one uh, one thing I did forget to mention is down here if you put text in here it's going to be the text that appears above the login form so whatever you put in here is going to appear above the login form let's go ahead and save uh, I'm not going to be able to just preview and show you guys on this one, so let's see. I have everything in here. Now I'm going to go ahead and update so that it is live. And then I'm going to have to come to appearance to assign it to a menu. Login form, add to menu, right below the social follow. Then I'm going to go ahead and save menu. And then I'm going to have to log out quickly so that I can show you what this looks like. So we'll just click on that to refresh. And then down to login form. And oops, we made that light text as well. So login.
go to pages. Login form and change this one to dark text. And then I will update. Log out again. Refresh the page. And then you can see we have the no background login. We have the login with the purple background. And the one that was supposed to be blue, but it's purple. But anyway, we have our logins here, which will disappear once you log into the site. And then I did another one down here that has no background, but I added a background image to the section, which you can do if you click on the one that looks like three tabs on the page it will bring you to the section and the section will allow you to put in background images for that module. So I will show you that quick as well. Go to pages, go to login, And what I did there for that one is I went to here and here I'm able to put an image in as the background and then I said don't show color for that login. And that's how you use the login form. But if you are logged in here or you're logged into your site and you try to view the login you won't be able to see it because you're already logged into your site.